Why do some websites look so clean and professional? It's because they all use a simple design technique. And in this video, I will show you exactly how it works. So take a look at these examples. They all use the secret technique. Can you spot what they all have in common? And trust me, once you see it, you won't be able to unsee it. And no, it's not the video background. These examples also using the technique. So let's look at a few more examples. For example, this one. I really like the orange color. It just looks so professional. This one is probably my favorite one. And that's actually just because it really proves that less is more. Okay, so let me show you what they all have in common. But make sure to stick around because later in this video, I will build a live website using this technique. So the secret is something I call transparent web design. To show you what I mean, take a look at the website without the transparent menu. It doesn't look as clean now, does it? And that's only the menu. Let me show you what happens if you don't use a contrasting color for the heading. Then it becomes unreadable. And the same goes for the buttons. And this one, this is the biggest one. Look how messy it is when I replace the video background with something that doesn't complement the other elements. So it needs to be simple like this, for example. But this is not everything. There's one more thing that goes into this. So let me go ahead and show you a live example so you can learn how to nail this and avoid any mistakes. And a quick side note, this might be the last time you see my content if you haven't subscribed. The third thing I will add is a menu like this, for example. Then a hero section like this, where I will be placing all the content on top of. Inside the hero container, I'll add my background. I found this video, but it can also be an image. I'll get back to where you can find high quality backgrounds like this in a moment. But I actually also found this video and I think I'll go with this one. So I add the video as a background and change the menu so it's transparent. And I always love this part. I will go in the hero section and give it a negative margin. Something like this maybe. Now it suddenly looks really integrated and cool, right? And then let's add some copywriting like this, for example. And now you can see it's a bit too messy out here. So I actually think I will change the video background to the other one. Now I have changed the background so it's easier to see the text content because there's not much happening in the background now. So the next thing is really important. And that's the one thing I talked about earlier that I didn't show you. And that's the overlay because the background needs to be a bit dark so everything is easier to see like this. Okay, so we're almost done. I just want to add two more things. For example, the heading could be better like this, for example. And if you don't know what to write, then just use this prompt in chat GPT. Okay, let's do a bit more storytelling about the background. So I will change the logo to this and the same goes for the buttons. Let's change the color to something that matches the background like this. And the same goes for this one. And here's the result. But earlier in this video, I promised to tell you where I found these beautiful videos or just image backgrounds. And I use something called Envato. I'll leave a link in the description below. But remember, if you're using a video background, there are some critical things that you need to be aware of. I'll break it all down in this video. So make sure to watch that before using a video background.